Well, hello everyone. Hey, Teddy. It is Thanksgiving day. I'm just gonna stay home today. Papa is not up to going anywhere and, or having a bunch of people over. So doing another quiet year of Thanksgiving, but I am gonna make some food. Um, I did a pumpkin pie yesterday and fudge, if you saw that vlog. Um, and now I'm gonna make some deviled eggs. I'm also making this layered cranberry dish. It's like a Paula Deen recipe from, I don't know when, but he likes it. I'm not eating it, but maybe he'll eat it. Um, <laughs> got this from Aldi. I've got some refrigerated mashed potatoes. I got him gravy um, and ham and these rolls. So will he eat any of this? Probably not, but I'm gonna make it. But anyway, my deviled eggs are just the eggs. Miracle, whoa, oh gosh. Bounce back, bounce back. Um, and sugar, that's all I do with my deviled eggs. And they're famous and everyone loves them, so bleh. <laughs> um, but anyway, yeah, I'm gonna pull the uh, food processor out and get these going. Okay, deviled eggs are done. Little, whoa, a lot, paprika. <laughs> whatever okay oh that one's kind of sad come on okay now you got too much oh well does paprika even really have a flavor i mean i suppose if you put a lot on i mean that might be considered a lot but oh well excuse me i'm a little dewy i thought i'd take like the day off <laughs> you know and try to relax no i've got all the bedding to wash i dropped my coke icy in the kitchen broke the glass everywhere pops. So I had to clean the whole kitchen. My dad's not doing well. So I'm, you know, having to help him. Dogs are like losing their minds in and out, in and out, in and out. So I'm down in the basement now because it's like the only place no one can find me or get to me. I'm trying to do all the bedding and the first load didn't drain all the way. Like it's, the stuff is too wet. So I'm having to run another drain cycle so i'm like oh, i'll just come down here and sit down here because i haven't even gotten my bedding in the wash yet so anyway <laughs> happy thanksgiving um but yeah i will show you the state of the basement here <laughs> i have been trying to clean it up but time you know it's one of those things if i could just give up sleep i'd have plenty of time but i need my sleep I need it. I was so tired last night. So tired. I tried to get up early this morning and I just like, I can't get out of bed. I'm so tired. Oh, anyway, I'll show you the uh, situation in the basement. Okay. <laughs> Here's where I am sitting against the wall in my wicker rocker things that I brought down here and they actually just work. So um, for those of you who followed me for a while, you know that, um, this whole basement used, to, this whole side of the basement used to be eBay inventory. I don't have anything listed on eBay right now. So I have kind of, I haven't done it in a while. It's been a couple of weeks since I've down here. I was trying to kind of organize some things. Um, that's all dollhouse furniture. I have never even gone through. I like got it in lots. I was... I did clean out, uh, clearly, those shelves I had um, bubble wrap and packing peanuts on those shelves. So I've got the room to more so Now Teddy's barking because he's like, Mom, come up here, Mom. No, I'm hiding. Um, so this stuff was to go to the consignment store. Um, it was from a liquidation lot. I don't think, I, I'm probably just going to give it to Goodwill or... I don't know. I can't. I, they're just never taking anything anymore. Um, this is my stuff to keep. Then I've been working on this, um, breaking down all of the boxes I have for ornaments because I want to keep the boxes, but they don't need to be stored in the boxes every year. It's just a pain in the butt, but I want to keep my boxes. So I need to go through and make a whole box of nothing but boxes. That's right. You heard me, a box of boxes and a tub of tissue paper, which is that. So every time I feel like I'm gonna have some sort of breakdown, I try to come down here for a couple minutes and do that. 
clearly I'm not getting very far in that. Oh, this is, that was consignment store too. It really sucks, but every place is the same. Like there's just no staffing. That's their problem is they just don't have staff to run everything. So anyway, yeah, that's the situation down here in the basement. And I did put the packing pages behind there. Bought all those boxes. That's the priority mail stuff. And I mean, it doesn't hurt them to be in there. There's those shelves, like it's convenient for boxes. Like they were made for boxes. This, that's when I was like, oh my God, this is the house for me because those shelves were made for boxes, but they're not good for anything else because they don't fit it's like a tote. They're so, you know, they're not very deep. I've got these shadow boxes that I've gotten at um, estate sales. So I'm just waiting for this to hopefully rinse out and I've got all that bedding I guess it's laundry day <laughs> so it is later in the afternoon <laughs> I'm now gonna make this layered cranberry relish thing it was a Paula Deen recipe I can't I found a video of her making it on YouTube I think like the Food Network has scrubbed all of her recipes off their site um, but it's eight ounces of cream cheese. And then you use like two tablespoons of mayonnaise. We use Miracle Whip. And then I think you put in a half a cup of pecans, chopped pecans, mix it up, and then you layer it with your smushed up cranberry sauce. What I have learned about this over the years is that it gets really watery. Excuse the dog hair that was just there. It gets really watery um, like the day after next. So instead of making a bunch of layers, I just do, I think I do the cream cheese on the bottom and then this on the top and you just scoop it out. We're the only people eating and I don't even eat this. This is all for my dad. So they'll probably take two bites and never eat any more of it. So it won't matter. What do you think, Teddy? Are you having a good day? Yeah, I try to let you off without your diaper and then you, you go pee somewhere. You're gonna be two tomorrow. Two, gonna be two. Is it your birthday tomorrow? Is it your birthday tomorrow? We're gonna to open an advent calendar for your birthday? Yeah, or toy or treats for your birthday. <laughs> you want toys or treats for your birthday? What do you want for your birthday? Toys or treats? Treats or toys? Oh, <gasps> for your birthday? Tomorrow? You can be two. <gasps> Yay, two! I had a thought. Instead of putting this together, because like I said, it gets runny after a day, I'm just going to keep them in separate containers um, and just make a little parfait for him, like for tonight. So I've got a little bit of cranberry sauce. I'll put a scoop of that in, and that way it won't get runny, and he can have it for a few days. I know. I'm a genius. Oh my God, how adorable is that? That's so cute. That's much better than the layer mess that it usually makes love it okay i'm excited for this stuffing um i got it at uh, aldi so we'll see got rolls in the oven ham is out hopefully my dad will eat something but i'm definitely hungry you have everything you need is that all you're gonna eat well, that's I'm, a sad little plate. I don't know. But... You got your pie and that layered stuff you like. Yeah. What do you guys think? <laughs> They're like, where's my plate? I, uh, I just wanted to report that this stuff is really good. <laughs> like, forget the stovetop. This is way better. Um, so I'll definitely be going back to Aldi to get this. Um, I don't know if it's a year-round thing there. They just get for holidays. But I will definitely be getting some more. Well, hello everyone. It's the next day. It's Friday. It's Black Friday. Are you out shopping? I did some online shopping last night. Bath and Body Works and Yankee Candle. I normally also do a order from the body shop. They do a 30% off everything on their site. And then they also usually offer some kind of like, here's the thing. Black Friday is all about the item that you get, you know, like the Bath and Body Works has a bag. Well, this year it's a box. It was $40. Felt like it used to be a bag for 25 but anyway, I wanted to get that. And buy three, get three free candles. 
also, I don't know where my other sock is. I just found this in my office. <laughs> don't you love the background? It's a walker and a Swiffer mop. Um, oh yeah, Black Friday. Then I went to Yankee Candle because that's another one I like. They did have a bag with purchase, so I got some candles there because candles, candles, candles. Um, then my dad just was like, oh, I need more boost drink. And I knew he was getting low and I had it on my list, but now he's like completely out. I'm like, shoot. So I went on to Sam's Club. I was like, I can just do a drive up order. They're completely out. No boost and no insure. So then I went to Target, um, which, you know, it's just gonna be a lot more expensive, but they had some of the chocolate insure. I don't even think they had boost one or the other anyway and I got three packs of that so I guess I'm gonna have to try Amazon for it it's probably stuck off the coast somewhere in a ship but um yeah and Teddy's too today Teddy's birthday's today I didn't get him like like a gift to give him you know he and Charlie well maybe not so much Charlie but Lucy and Teddy they're like suspicious of everything it's like my first pug Max loved presents like he knew exactly what it was give me the present gonna rip the paper Teddy's just like, woo, it's something new. What are you doing? So it's kind of silly. But anyway, I thought I'd open a couple of subscription boxes while I am here waiting for my Target order to go pick it up. So I have this Bombay and Cedar. Now I have canceled my Bombay and Cedar stuff, um, but I'd like signed up for a yearly thing. Ow, paper cut. Oh my God, am I bleeding to death? Are you kidding me? Why? And my skin is so dry this time of year. Like you even look at it and it cracks and bleeds. Is that going to bleed through the whole video? Come on now. This isn't very professional. We'll just ignore that. I'll just touch it up periodically. So this is the Bombay and Cedar. This is their monthly beauty box. They have a lifestyle quarterly box and like a lifestyle um, monthly box but they ship so late. Like this is October. It's almost December. Um, so yeah, but it says it's a total value of $140.99 to $149.98, depending on what you got. It comes in this nice bag, which I do like. Okay, Ooh, we have five actually quite large items, okay. First up, we have the Marrakesh Miracle Mask. Restoring formula envelops damage, damaged looking hair and revigorates it with a powerful strength and brilliant shine. So is it just like a original scent, it says. Oh, okay, smells like a hair product. Do you use it like conditioner? Okay, find the English instructions. Um, do we not have English instructions? How to use. Apply to clean, damp hair, leave on for five to 10 minutes and rinse. So that's a good thing to do when you're shaving your legs. And it says that that was a, um, $25.99 value. Or you could have gotten nail polishes. Aw, I would have liked the nail polishes. Oh, well. Then we have Fifth Dimension Radiant Rose Face Mask. Ugh, does it smell like rose? Dry mask allowing you to mix per use with a hydrating ingredient of your choosing. Use one to two times a month. Rose ugh, and high, you know, florals make me, give me a headache. I don't know if that's like floral, floral, but. Oh, and it says that that is a, yes, I have my Invisalign and so I'm with me. $28 value. Then we have Laguna Replenishing Body Serum. It says this is a $26 value. A tantalizing blend of pure botanical oils, including blue yarrow, marine algae, coconut, rose hip, and geranium blossoms. And it's sealed and I'm not opening it. Then we have this little herbal eye balm. It says this is $60. Um this, wait a minute. Oh, body serum. It's like the same brand, isn't it? Laguna? 
or that's Earth Harbor brand, but this is this is Earth Harbor brand Laguna, and then this is Laguna. Ugh. Eye balm crafted with a unique blend of three oil infused with a botanical infusion that promotes skin cell regeneration, reduces puffiness. And then finally, this cute little manicure kit, and it's the Vintage Cosmetics Company. It is cute. It says this is a $9.99 value. Um, and this says that this is a, this luscious lemon print manicure purse will allow you to clip, snip, and push, and smooth your way to beautifully groomed fingernails. But that's, that's not a lemon print. That's a leopard print. I think somebody had a mistype there. Because that's leopard, not lemon. Okay, so that was the Bombay and Cedar Beauty, and I'll link it below if you want to go look. And next, I'm going to open up Glossy Box here, and whoa, everything's falling off the table. Got to open up another box if I cut myself again. Okay, you always get the outer Glossy Box, but then you get the nice pretty box. And... We have this, I'm assuming this is the, yep, November 2021 box. It's been sitting here for a couple days. And, whoa, everything falling. I do not have a big enough table. Okay, everything, just go on the floor. Just go, I'll pick you up later. Okay, first up we have the Vitabrid C12 um, Daily C Balancing Cleansing Balm says this is $48. It's a facial cleansing balm to effortlessly dissolve stubborn makeup and impurities. Well, I'm all about face products. So there's that. Then we have, this is Figs and Rouge. It's a full size, $52. Oh, wait, did I say this was $48? I did now. This is $52. It's a primer and finishing fix. I don't like primers because um, I feel they're sticky. It's $52, so I'll probably go to the consignment store if I can ever take anything in there because they are understaffed. This is We Sherry Lip Oil. Ooh, I love a lip oil. $12 from the Beauty Crop. I'm all about the lip products. Ooh, cute. Definitely a vintage look. Mmm. I love a lip oil. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Oh, did it smell? I'm not really sure, but I like it. Super soft. Then we have this little bronze eyeshadow palette. It says that this is a third, this is a travel size, so it's a $20 value, I believe. Yeah, which is still like what? From Shella? That's cute. And then finally, a deluxe mini um, commodity paper, uh, what is this? It's a fragrance. Paper opens with ISO E Super, a unique and woody molecular note. If I could open it, I'd show you. Here we go. So it's a little fragrance. Ooh, yeah, I cannot do perfumes. I cannot. So that will not be staying at my house. But anyway, that's um, my Glossy Box and my Bombay and Cedar. I'll link them below if you want to go over. You guys know the drill with subscription boxes. Whoa. Okay, still waiting. I got to check my phone, see if Target is ready for me to go pick up Boost for somebody else there buys it. And then I don't know what we're going to do. He's going to have to like, I've got Carnation Instant Breakfast Pouches, which are honestly the same thing. I'm just going to have to make him those because um, it's bite. pretty much those are some days the only like extra calories he gets. He eats cereal, both cereal every morning. Um, and then it's like the boost if I get him a frappe. He did eat some Thanksgiving dinner last night, but I tell you what, there's, no, there's nothing more stressful than trying to get someone to eat. I know people have kids and they like won't eat, but eventually kids are usually picky and then like eat when they get hungry. But he's just like, nope, not going to eat. Like you have to eat. I, I see. Are you giving up on life? No, no, no. Well, then you have to eat. If you want to still live, eating is a thing. 
can't it's not negotiable you know you, there's some things that are negotiable but eating is not one of them but anyway once that's ready i'll do that and i will get him a frappe on the way home because i don't know that he'll eat any dinner tonight so anyway i'll check in with you guys um in a bit teddy what do you want to say now that you're two do you have anything to say now that you're two you're still wearing a diaper you don't want to wear a diaper forever do you don't you want to be a big boy no diaper you peed a lot in the kitchen this morning i saw yeah there was a huge pile of it puddle well you don't clean i do the cleaning you drink your frappe and stay seated <laughs> teddy don't you care about your birthday teddy daddy you're so cute did charlie get you a birthday present what did charlie get you for your birthday hey not a damn thing not a damn thing okay guys that's gonna wrap it up for this vlog i had this drawer which is broken it used to be in that thing's broken like random disney world souvenirs from vacations that I need to put into something else. So I guess that'll be my last shot of this vlog. But if you liked today's vlog, give this video a thumbs up. Of course, make sure you're subscribed and I will see you in the next one. Who's going to Disney World? Anyone, anyone going? <laughs> I wanna go, but I can't. Actually, I don't wanna go right now in the middle of a pandemic. No, don't want to. Would like to, would like there to be no pandemic. And then go, how about that? That's a better wish. Okay, thanks guys for watching, bye.